That guy looks like a drumstick. You hungry? Well, it does. Oh, oh! Oh, uh, uh, Tammy! Uh! Without their mother by their side. Tammy! My daughter did not deserve this, and I want the killer to go to jail forever. You don't have OCD. You have OBCD. Bruh. Okay, thank you. I didn't know my psychiatrist was on here. Damn. Whoever said that, it's file. When you can't do the activities you love, oh, I saw this before. you can't be you. Three out of five young adults experience early onset arthritis. Negro can help. Negro increases cartilage and strengthens muscle tissue in the knees so you can feel like you again. Don't be a slave to joint pain. Wow. Free yourself and the results will be noticeable. Hey, that guy's using Negro. Hey, Negro. Negro. Hey, Negro. Negro. Look at him go. Why do I feel like they would actually make a commercial like this? I feel like this commercial would totally be used overseas. Negro, get back to what you do best. Get back to you. Negro, please. Negro is available only by prescription. Consult your doctor to see if Negro is right for you. Negro, please. I'm good. I'm good. Not up on the arm. Oh, no, no. Ross. Rose still frightened. No, no, no. Get I'm the almond milk. Rouse. I just got up on 2% milk a couple no, years no, no, ago. No, 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 no. Get the almond milk. Now y'all trying to conspiracy. No, 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 no. The, 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 and it's the question. Is it from the almond of the walnut? Is they squeezing it out of the peanut? I don't have that answer. And I usually have every answer. It reads her copy in Braille. A She's a quick with a joke. Rich dudes. Is there anything you can't do, Faith? See? Name something or someone you should stop sleeping with as an adult. Alana. Your boss. Your boss. Wow. Uh, John. Children. Okay. He did not just say that. He did not. See, that would call for the Steve Harvey stare right there. It's been like 10 years since I weighed myself. And I know the number's going to be really high, but I'm excited to know where my starting weight is because in my mind, I'll never be this big again. Mm -hmm. You want to assist here? You can go. Okay. Okay. There you go. Okay. This looks like we don't have a reading. It gives me a stop. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> I'm sorry. That thing said it didn't have a reading on it, man. <laughs> I'd be damned. Train flexibility with me and reach your full potential in just under 10 days. Oh, he did. Every day I look at Tammy, I'm like, if I don't change now, I could possibly be her size. <laughs> Aren't you already? I'm still here. Oh, I saw this one. What? Why? Because you just want to be a asshole. You're right. Then why the would you be in this competition, Bone Face? You don't. You. Why do you look 50 and you're 24? What? Devious. Devious. What did you say? So the plaintiff loses, gets nothing. Ms. Howard, what are you thinking? She lied, and I should have known better when I seen her hair. Ms. Reese. Gosh. <laughs> Seen it. I don't know what you want. I don't know how to help. Watch, it's gonna come soon because I feel it. It's like it gives me a brush and shit. Where am I? Uh, I'm in front of my damn house. <laughs> I forgot why I was there. Hilarious. 
You so you so pretty. Look how pretty you is. Ooh, with your glasses on. Just think about it. Look at that. Nine years ago, you was in my balls. <laughs> do you love she said, her? Ew. Yes. Are you willing to do whatever it takes to stay with her? Uh, no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! He did not just say that, bro. He said. Man, the dude was like, are you willing to do anything for your wife? <laughs> this man sat there and thought about it and said, nah. <laughs> oh my, I gotta see the full video with that. That's too funny, man. Who's uncle out here? Why would you call me a smite? Because you talk about smiting. You talk about selling pussy and you got a sitting next to you drinking out of a bottle. Wake that. What's wrong with you? Hey, mama. So angry. Come on. What's you know? What's up, my good last name? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Say, why that little bitch wanna cut her ass like I'm telling me eat her ass? <laughs> 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 Nigga, I sucked the fart out that this booty. Nigga, I'm talking about one leg in the air, lift some cheeks, sucking the shit out that booty, nigga. Boy, nigga, you know how I do. Bitch, somebody she gonna tell her friends. I miss your friends. I'm gonna eat your ass too, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, from now on, you get one fork and one spoon with your nasty booty eating ass. Shut your hating ass up. <laughs> <laughs> and Bruh, that is so disgusting, man. At first, I was like, there is no way in hell I would ever talk like that in front of my mama. But I think that's obviously, like, their relationship, so it's cool. But that's fucking funny. While she's sitting around, running around, talking about my husband and my the father of my children, and she spends her weekends peddling through sperm banks, looking okay. through catalogs to try to find a donor. Honey, you don't know if your baby daddy will be an axe murderer or a child molester, because what you will know is that he needed $10 to get him a medium-sized pizza, so he ejaculated in a cup so you could have a kid. Now, check that. God. Dang. Bro, that wasn't even a burn, nor was it a roast. That was like an annihilation. I don't know what context of this show is being shown here, but I don't think this lady ever recovered from that. She said what she said. God damn, she did. I wish I, I could like not stutter while I'm trying to tell somebody off. I always stutter when I'm trying to fucking tell somebody off, especially when I'm mad. Live. To piss on his grave. Even if I'm in a walker, my wife already has instructions. She's out of the will. If she doesn't get me there, if I'm not ambulatory, I'll find Vince Russo's grave and I will piss on it. And there will be a picture of that hanging on my wall when I pass away. And hate is a hell of a motivator. First things first, I'd love to know how many of you all are contagious because I don't want to be catching anything. Hey, Baldy, I'm talking to you. Most of them have leukemia. It's not contagious. You're not strangers, but you're local neighborhood crime fighters. Seriously, you guys are just people with no jobs. Yeah, well, at least I'm not dying. I'd rather die than grow up like you. You know what, everyone? This little boy can talk to as many strangers as he wants because, quite frankly, no rapist will want that in the back of their car. What is this show? And the hardest I'm working around here going out shedding my ass and you with that bullshit. Get up and get up some of this here shit in here. Bro, what? I have to come back in here, boy, and shake the living shit up at you. Unc said he was selling his ass? What situation is your uncle in that he got to sell ass? Like, my gosh. Mark is in Overland Park, Kansas, independent line. Mark, you're on the Washington Journal. Hey, thanks for taking my call. Hi. So, you know, I agree with what Monica Lewinsky has been saying. Cyberbullying is definitely a problem, but there's there's a solution. And, you know, kids these days are kind of soft. I feel like maybe they could just close their laptops or even block the person. And, you know, in elementary school, I would get bullied all the time. I would just tell them, hey, look, Buster, you're talking to the guy with the biggest cock on the playground. We're going to move on to Michael. We're you are not <laughs> you said her look, father. Buster.
Khan in my heart, you still my child. I know you did. Miss <laughs> Ewing, do you know who her father is? Yeah, I do. And it's his brother. <laughs> what? <laughs> Mr. Hawkins' brother? Whoa. Yes. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. <laughs> So you were sleeping with him and his a piece of bread. That brother was flabbergasted. Here, eat no, this bread. Eat down. I'm, I'm not. I don't eat no motherfucking end bread. What's you wrong with it. the end bread? You eat it. Dang, her voice is fucking deep. Eh? <gasps> Promise me you'll never sleep with another woman. Oh, I've seen this. I hear you. Seen this. So you will never, ever, ever think of someone else while masturbating, right? Message received. I don't understand. Is that a yes? Yo comprende. Is that a promise? Your request has been filed. I need to hear you say it. it I pr it. say I pro I promise. You promise. You. You promise. Say it. Okay, I promise. No air quotes. Promises are things that love you. Say, Say it. I promise. I promise. Will you at least promise to go see my mom every day? So zero pornography? Done. Every day. I never see nobody kinda... crack an egg with a, with a spoon. What kind of Crazy. shit is that? What does it make a difference what I crack it with, motherfucker? I'll crack you with your big fucking black head, you black head motherfucker. What you fuck you? What, what, why is you worried about how the fuck? And you in a relationship? He got re agitated. Partner. Are you Fire. hitting on me? Hmm? Are you hitting on me? Uh, you're not my type. Funny. What's your type? What's that? Just funny wild, macro? Ghetto shit. Somebody just patting their head all day and just saying, Where's my baby daddy? Where's my baby daddy? I'm about to bust all your windows out and I cheat on her. And then she just like, I don't know the fuck you didn't cheat on me. And she beat me up. And then I'll be in jail and i get out and i will be like, yo, like, why you call the police on me? And she's just like, because you ain't shit, motherfucker. And then that's when I'm just like, yo, 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 lady, chill out. And she be like, man, go in there and take care of your stepson because he ain't really your son. I like that. I don't think you got that in you. You got spooky hearing it out. And you don't even know who Tupac is. Wow. That sounds mad toxic. Um. You know, she's been blowing up recently. Um. I don't know how long she's been doing this podcast, but it feels like she just all of a sudden got super popular because she's bringing on all these um, uh, well-known creators. I just saw that she had a podcast with Drake. They were like doing the interview in bed. I don't know. But yeah, this was a funny ass compilation, man. Really funny compilation. Uh, <laughs> I think I think the funniest one, hands down, was I think that was from like my 500 pound life. Oh my god, bro! Like <laughs> when he stepped on the scale, bro, it says error. Now listen, I don't know if that dude is still big, but hopefully he has you know, started eating right and dropped down in weight, hopefully. But man, I don't want to ever, ever be that big, man. I'm just saying. Um, I don't think it should be controversial to say that because nowadays people are like super sensitive about um, speaking on people's weight and stuff. Uh, I really think that just being at a healthy weight where you don't have high cholesterol don't have high blood pressure and it doesn't feel like you're carrying like four people should be a natural thing to want to um work towards you know but people are so quick to sit at your fat forward for saying that which is ridiculous to me but anyway guys if you lost this compilation please post which clip you lost at and make sure you like share and subscribe and make sure you support jc the goat i'll see you in the next reaction peace <laughs>